I hope you've been enjoying these solid work lessons so far. Today we're going to learn about circular patterns. Circular patterns are another way to create lots of features. So let's see how it's done. Remember, we're going to go new, part. One of my friends and subscribers here on YouTube showed me a neat trick for changing units. You just go down here, hit this, and select inches, millimeters, or whatever you prefer. It makes it much quicker. So thank you, Kent, for that information. We all appreciate it. So you right click, front plane, sketch, and let's create a circle. And we have to dimension it. Let's make it a 12 inch circle. We'll make it a big one. Then we're gonna go features. We're gonna extrude it. And let's extrude it a half inch. So it's basically a plate. Now this is where it gets interesting. If we right click on this surface, we'll do a sketch, draw our center line, we'll make it, make sure it's vertical. Put a circle, dimension that. Let's make it three quarters of an inch. We'll make it four inches. And we're going to go features, extrude a cut, through all, and now we have one circle. But let's say we want to make them all around evenly. This is how we would do it. Go up to reference geometry, and this is something new, axis, and we're going to select the edge of the circle. Now we have an axis that's coming through. We can grab the points, just so you can get a better view of it. And you can see it goes straight through the center. This will be our reference for our pattern. Under the linear pattern dropdown, you see we have circular pattern. So let's check that. We select our feature. And we're going to do equal spacing. And we'll do 12. And we have to select our axis, and there you have it. We've basically made holes where the hours are on a clock. So that was a really simple design. Let's add something a little more complex using the circular pattern feature. Just so we get a feel for what it's going to look like, let's put a circle in the center. We'll make that a half inch. And then using some more of the lessons we learned. Put another circle there. Select this circle. We're going to hit Convert Entity. We're going to dimension this one. Make it one inch. And we're going to come out. And now watch this. Suppose we want one on the other side. This is a really quick way to duplicate features. Go to the other side, right click, hit sketch, but then go back to this, select this circle, convert, and then also remember to select the center circle, convert. Now we have both circles on the same other side. Now the relations will also be copied, so if you change the size of that, these will also change. And then we'll just add our extrude. And there you have it. Let's select this, a new sketch. We're going to create a center line. We're going to come up all the way to the edge, keeping it vertical. Select normal two. 
And now we have the line straight up and down. And we're just gonna come in here and we're gonna draw a couple of details. First thing we're gonna need is a circle, a large circle. We'll make this 11 and a half inches. Gives us a quarter inch all around. And then we're gonna convert this top. Now we have two circles. If you're trying to figure out what we're doing, give me a second and you'll see. Now this isn't the ideal way to produce a gear, but it will give you kind of a hint on how you can do it. These ends should be curved, but just for the sake of our five minute tutorial, I'm gonna make them straight. We're gonna draw a line there. We're gonna draw another one here. Now here's a new relation you haven't learned. Go add relation. We select this point, this line, and this point and we make them symmetric. We do the same thing again. This point, this line, this point. We make those symmetric again. Now, if we move the one, the other one will move. This makes it really easy for us to dimension. Go here and here. I don't really know what the dimension is supposed to be for a gear, but there are charts for it. We'll just make something arbitrary at this point. Make it a little smaller. And maybe a little more. It doesn't look too bad. So now here's a new trick. Go to trim. And this is, if you've been trying to figure out what we're gonna do with those circles, you simply just hold the mouse and cut. We still have the arc here, and we still have the arc here based on those original dimensions, but now we're just using a piece of it to close our shape. And this is fully defined, so we can simply go features, and the trim, extrude a cut, through all, and you can see we have the first tooth of a gear. Again, there are much better ways to do gears and you should watch the tutorials online, but I'm just giving you an idea of how we can use the pattern tool to make a gear quickly. We go circular pattern, make sure we select that. And obviously we're gonna need a lot more than that. So let's try 64, we're starting to look like a gear. Probably a little more. We just keep on going and we should obviously keep it an even number. It's probably somewhere around 96 would be good. It's a little flat, we could go a little more. And we'll call it 112. And there you have it. So that was a quick and easy lesson on how to use the circular pattern tool. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and please don't forget to subscribe.